So finally, an amazing game after a long time. I mean, 2022 wasn't going good for us, but finally we did play really good today. So what's your initial um, observation or take from the game? Um, it was a great game, finally. Um, it's a good you know, scoreline, uh, 4-1. I think that's what we needed, and I think that's how the team needs to play you know, every game. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, we had a lot of positives to talk about today. Like the gameplay, the intensity at times was really impressive today. Like today, again, it shows that if we want, we can press really high and make them force them to do some mistakes. But most of the time we just sit back, don't press. But today we did something different. That's what I'm really excited about before PSG game. Yeah, I mean, after, you know, the penalty, um, I thought, oh, man, it's going to be one of those games again, you know. They really came back from that, especially those two goals before halftime. I think it really helped us, um, you know, the whole turnaround right before halftime. You know, I think it was great for the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go one by one. Let's talk about the first goal, like the penalty. I mean, Carvajal did a very silly tackle, which I think he should not have done it. I mean, he did again PSG's, like, similar mistake again today like he's one of the best right back in the world but he should be careful about those tackle yeah he shouldn't you know a player of his caliber shouldn't be making you know those silly mistakes those those tackles that you know cost us the game or could cost us the game you know um so i think maybe it's just with age he's declining but you know carver hall needs to do better um for in sure that right back position good call before PSG that we cannot do this type of mistake that we have to be very cautious so that we don't suffer because if you concede first goal against PSG like this mm -hmm. that will be nightmare right yeah because now we're down two two goals let's yeah let's go back to second goal come on guys scored a oh my god what a goal what an amazing what goal a, a beautiful goal I think that it, it was um it was perfect. He did it for his confidence. You know, he didn't, he started off good and then had not so good games. And, you know, finally today, I think that goal gave him the confidence. Um, you know, Achilati's like, oh, maybe we can use him for that PSG game. Um, so it's nice to see. Yeah. So for the audience who don't know is that Kamavinga played today just because Valverde is out because of the flu and Cruz is out also because of injury. Yeah. So that means Kamavinga had to play. There's no other options. But he showed that he can play box to box and he has some good moments, like so, some magical moments dribbling wise, nice short passing. Again, when he had a chance, he scored a beautiful goal and which we needed. And you have seen the celebration from both Ancelotti, like his son and himself. Yeah. Like how important that goal was. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I think Cruz might be out for the PSG game. Um, I was reading, I think he might be out. So, yeah, very likely. So to have, you know, Kangavinga score today going into that game, I just think it's, you know, perfect confidence. And we need somebody like that in the midfield. You know, he is a little faster than Modric and Cruz and even Casemiro. So I think it could help us in that game against PSG. Yeah, Casemiro, Casemiro is out. So Cruz is most likely will be out. So for me, it has to be Modric, Kamavinga, and Valverde. Yeah. Now, let's go to the third goal. Another banger goal, Modric. I mean, this is like a shot. typical Modric goal, right? Um, I think after a few, you know, recent disappointing performances, um, that goal um, just showed us that why he is our, always in our starting lineup, why he is our, our top guy. And we need him to bring that same energy, um, you know, for the game against PSG, because he he can make it he can make it happen. You know, he is a magician. So yeah, I mean, before the second half, we needed that goal so that we are up and we have more control, mm -hmm. and we finally did it. And also, last ten to fifteen minutes of the game, of the first half, I liked the most. Like the intensity we had, the pressing we had. That was mesmerizing. That's the football like I was missing for a long time yeah. from our team. That's what we need to see for, you know, more games because we can't keep drawing or, you know, losing. If we have this type of squad and the tactics, you know, we can use. And today just showed it, you know, 4-1 against 
de la sociedad. You know, that's a top four team. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, again, this game also shows that the importance of including the rotation player or young player in the team so that they can perform when given the chance. And today is one of those days. Uh, going back to the second half, as we are one up, now it's all about just control the match. But we also played very good, like total control, total domination in everywhere. Like defensively, Militao and Alava was very solid. Mendy was unbreakable. And Carvajal was, re was also really good, apart from that mistake. Yeah. And going forward, Rodrigo, yeah, he did not have that sharpness. But I felt he was much better with linking up and creating chance than Asensio. For me, Asensio is a better as a super sub. And our third goal was a penalty for from Benzema. Um, it was a penalty. Because, uh, we have to thank to VAR because the tech, the foul was committed just inside the box. Yeah, just inside the I box. I think referee would have given free kick if the VAR would not intervene, so, which is really good. The one, it's just one example of good application of VAR. And yeah. Benzema got a ch penalty and he scored. He also scored two offset goals. For me, the first offset that is uh, very, very, very like controversial for me because if you see the line almost equal the, yeah, both of them but somehow VR decided against us for the second one I have no complaint about because Rodrigo was clear cut offside yeah I mean it was a clear penalty you could you could see the foul um, and it's just nice to have Benzema you know score um, even if it's for a penalty but you know it just shows that we're I think we're ready for PSG um, and we need to put that that performance we put on today. You know, if we can get four goals today against you know Real Sociedad, why can't we get you know two, three goals against PSG and be Definitely. able to qualify for the next round? Yeah, I mean our fourth goal was also another beautiful goal. What I like about that goal is a long ball from Casemiro. When he saw the space, Carvajal was totally unmarked, and he has lots of space. And he took the opportunity and delivered the long ball to Carvajal, who had then beautiful pass to Asensio and who eventually scored, uh, which was a simple finish. But again, the main key points from this goal is the long ball from Casimiro. I think that was just beautiful passing. That's what we need. You know, those those balls, you know, them being, uh, being able to see the field and um, see those openings because that was, that was just a perfect pass. Carvajal did good, and you know that was another goal we got. Yeah, and then we had a, a, a lot of late subs, which is really good uh, before PSG game. Overall, for me, it's very, very, very exciting and good game after a long time. But uh, hopefully, we can play with similar intensity against PSG. Yeah, I feel like um, some of the subs were okay, but I think he should have brought in. Uh, Hazard and Bale just to give them you know some minutes in case we need them in that PSG game well that's my next point I was going to ask actually like Hazard I thought should have started as a right wing for me he's the best available or Bale I mean they're both available yeah. and they're they're still one of the best forwards we have in our team and we should utilize them at best as long as we have them yeah and they're lacking you know match fitness so I think today, after that, you know, third goal, we he should have, you know, put them in there just to give them, you know, some minutes um, in case we need them for uh, the PSG game. Uh, yeah, today another uh, good take for me was that uh, what I saw from Vinicius, like if you see last couple of matches, he kind of lacked the sharpness. But today, like every time he gets the ball, he was really sharp. And he had the composure and confidence. I think we needed that before PSG game. So before, uh, let's go to the player ratings. Um, what's your top three players today? I uh, will say Kangavinga, Modric, and I'll give it to Vinny as well. I think Vinny. Vinicius. Okay. Uh, for me, number one has to be Modric because, uh, as you s s have seen, he has anchored the whole midfield. And also, I scored a beautiful goal. So, he deserved man of the match. Second player. Um, this is very difficult for me. Because this is a game like almost everyone played really good. 
Okay, I'll give the second one, Casemiro. I thought he was amazing today. Like, mm. defensively, when again, uh, Alaba moved forward or Milita moved forward, you know, at times, he covered both of them. And defensively, he was rock solid today. And my third player has to be um, Milita. I thought he was, he was amazing today. Like, he... I think if you see his pocket today, there is another player in his pocket. Yeah. I mean, I love the Alaba and Milito uh, defense we have. Um, both top quality players. And, you know, they show it almost every weekend how good they are. And it's it's a perfect, you know, uh, partnership. Yeah, overall great game. For the audience, comment below. Like, what's your best player today? from our game. And what's your prediction for PSG game? 